Hello, welcome to Handsome Griffin's occasional series in MATLAB tutorials. Today we'll be looking at a notch filter in MATLAB. Typical problem here, we have an x-ray of um, uh, the leg and we can see on the left there's quite a pattern. Uh, we tried a median filter here, it's an improvement, and then we tried a notch filter. So we identified the particular frequency uh, that was causing the problem in the image on the left and we tried to cut that out. Uh, we can see the same problem here with the brain scan. I don't know what it's like in YouTube, but there is a, a moiré pattern there. We median filtered it, and then we did the notch filter there. And finally, I think one best seen here, uh, we have the the clown pattern in here that you may guess, say, if you used a scanner on a black and white photograph, uh, you want to try and remove the uh, problem. Median filter in the middle, and then we have the notch filter on the right where we've cut out the relevant frequency and while there is sort of lines it's still there you can see it's much improved compared to the original on the left we have it uh, published here and just to state clearly that uh, the acknowledgement uh, the idea and most of the code was taken from Stanford homework uh, EU uh, 368 so just in case there's anybody wondering where I got the idea from. Um, some nice homework there. So we read uh, the three uh, images into a cell array and I think you know what that's about. If you don't, I just cut and paste it here uh, some of the MATLAB help. So you can go look it up yourself. For the filter we're using a median filter 7x7 seven seven for the brain an 11x11 11 11 for the leg and a 3x3 three three for the clown the notch centers here how did I get them well if we can find the relevant image just give me one sec here that's the wrong one you can see here there's four centers so what I did was using a uh, the two cursor there, I identified the four uh, frequencies there that would be causing the problem. So I identified them, they gave me the notch centers, I then took the distance from the center to there and I halved it as a rough idea for the sigma so and I hardwired those values in there. Now perhaps in a more sophisticated program you get them to automatically detect them but they were just written in by hand. The code here I've read in the image uh, I think it's reasonably explanatory I'm not going to go into too much detail uh, here I ran the median filter and then I displayed it and I wrote uh, the median image the median filtered image to file uh, I then converted it into the time domain. How did I do that? Uh, I used FFT2, two dimensional Fourier transform, and then I FFT shifted it so that the Fourier transform is in the middle of the spectrum. And then I absolute valued it, and then I logged that value so I could see what's going on. So when I go back to here, you can see uh, these values here. So we we have uh, the FFT2, the, two, uh, the fast Fourier transform, uh, we have it in the uh, frequency domain. I ran the notch filter on that, and again, just in case, I took the code straight from the Stanford website, so just to give uh, credit for that. Uh, I ran the filter there, and then what I have to do is, all right, then what I have to do is I can have to reconstruct the image and as you probably know there's the inverse Fourier transform there and I also had to do the inverse uh, Fourier transform shift because I had an FFT shift above and I looped around that three times okay so hope that helps thanks very much